Welcome to the jungle. And in that case, welcome to TJTV, because today we are learning the very new Season 4, Jungle. And although everyone is quite confused and is wondering what to do while you're playing your favorite role of jungling in Ranked Q, I think I figured it out. A lot of people think Jungle has gotten really big nerfed. I'll go ahead and hit Start Game since he's back, we'll get that started. But I honestly think that there's just a switch in roles in Jungle. No longer is ganking the really strong thing that happens when you play jungle. No longer is Lee Sin a strong pick. No longer is, um, let's see, Maokai going to be too strong. Even though he's one of my favorites. Ganking has been really, really nerfed. What is strong now, though? It's going to be <clears throat> farm junglers. Champions like Olaf, Amumu, Shivana, Udir, Phoenix Dance. So we're going to go ahead and play Olaf jungle. And although, yeah, Olaf's a little bit strong right now. It doesn't beat the purpose of those junglers who can farm very quickly and very efficiently. Um, right now, there is they did buff experience behind. in jungle. I want to go over runes really quick before they start the game, but I'll leave them unlocked in. So we'll go over Olaf really quick and we'll talk some more. So Berserker Rage, you know, he gets his attack speed for every 1% of his health missing. He gets 1% bonus attack speed, which is really strong. When Olaf's really low HP is when he's the strongest. So lifesteal is a must on Olaf. Anyone who doesn't run any lifesteal on Olaf is doing him completely wrong. His next ability is going to be Undertow. 100% bonus AD. Don't forget that. That's a lot of bonus AD. Um, he throws his axe slow percentage from 35% all the way to 55% at max ranks with a pretty high base value. The further the axe goes, the longer the slow will last. And if you pick up your axe, it resets the cooldown by 4 seconds. And it's already an 8 second cooldown, so you can be throwing axes like crazy. His next ability is Visage, Visage Strikes, which I think this is what really makes him strong. And it's not his um, OP true damage that I think that makes him strong. Vicious Strikes increases his attack speed, increases his healing from all sources, and increases gives him lifesteal. So all those three are the three things that really work together on Olaf. With that bonus attack speed, getting more attack speed, getting lifesteal, and getting increased healing to himself, he's really hard to kill. His next ability is Reckless Swing, a AD scaling true damage ability. The only other champion who has that is Vayne, and that's... it hurts, I'll tell you that much. Next is Ragnarok. Everyone knows what Ragnarok is. Press R, no CC, and you get the bonus MR and AD. Okay, quickly for my runes and masteries, um, if you get a little quick snippet of the view, there it is. The key part of it is running 921, but really importantly, you need to have the mastery points in the bonus healing effect. The reason being is that Olaf already has a lot of lifesteal, and him being even lower makes him heal even more with that W, which I forgot to mention, when you press W, the lower HP you have, the more increased healing it does on you. So having increased lifesteal overall and more healing on you, even on top of that, just having one or two lifesteal items, you literally can sustain through anything. And that just makes him extremely tough. Um, the other masteries in the defense page, I know you wanted to see them, you probably just got a glimpse. Go ahead and rewind and pause it whenever you want to if you want to kind of go over my masteries or check me up on Lol King. I have them there. The reason behind them, you know, they kind of vary depending on the champion. I have three jungle masteries for ADs. So, you know, there's there's a lot of variety nowadays. Um, just really importantly, you know, you want to do 921. Sometimes you can go 21-9. I do 21-9 for Tiger Udir. And that's just if you feel kind of crazy for the day. Um, but like I was saying earlier, ganking is no longer that strong. First blood got reduced. Getting early towers, you know, you don't get too much gold for your whole team, more so just the lane you gank. And really, it's just all about farming and ganking when you know you have to, because it's a guaranteed kill. Otherwise, you just gotta farm it up now. I've played games where I was playing Olaf, and I was level 18, and the whole team was level 15. I had the most CS in the game, and that was just from jungle. You know, getting those new jungle items, they increase your gold income by a lot if you utilize them correctly. And I'm not saying not to gank at all. Because if you don't gank at all, you know, you could set your team behind through deaths and kills, which can be hey, dude. I'm kind of can a be big a big deal. deal now. And hey, dude, I am a big deal. This is TJTV. Okay, so what the new jungler, uh, new jungle items I recommend starting on Olaf is Sweeping Lens, Dorans, and a Pot. Remember, boy. his healing comes from all sources. The potion's going to heal you more. The Doran is going to heal you more. His W is going to heal you more. 
everything on Olaf is just going to increase healing from those masteries and from his overall kit. I really recommend early to kind of try and set the enemy jungler behind by just going and checking his red and possibly stealing it. By doing that, you know, we can get a pretty decent start. We'll kind of set him behind and, you know, levels in the jungler are a little bit more scarce. But when you're behind, it's not too bad nowadays because if you haven't read the patches com patch note completely, the lower level you are on average the team, the more experience the junglers will give you. The jungle creeps will give you. So we're going to go ahead and try and counter jungle Jax here. If you run straight to this bush, they'll usually never be here, so you'll be the first one in it. Usually, playing safe. You can always not come in. But I like to be a little bit aggressive with Olaf. Going in his jungle, taking his stuff, and just farming it up. So we're here. We're going to go to the team. Try not to get spotted. And since nobody's here, we're going to take the buff without them even knowing. I'm going to Oracle Lens this because I don't want there to be an ward in there and not know it. Remember, Oracle Lens is really actually strong for junglers. It not only gives vision of the ward, it disables the ward. So if you go up to a ward, Oracle Lens it, they won't see you. You can either just take out the ward or run in and gank right away for a complete six seconds, I think. Or it's four, something like that. Enough to where you can kind of get in there. So I'm going to take my W first because I want that sustain. As you can see, I'm going to take very little damage. And nowadays, it's actually beneficial to smite early, take another camp, and then take that next buff. The reason being because you no longer hit level 3 after you take two big buffs. I might just go ahead and go straight to blue because as you can see, I'm full HP. Um, I took Reckless Swing. I should have took Undertow or... I don't want to say should have, I could have. Because either one um, is going to take. going to make me clear faster. But Reckless Swing's going to increase my single target damage. Meaning I can take out this bigger golem a lot quicker. Without needing Smite, even though it's going to be up. So I'm going to switch to these and Smite this to death. Just to increase the speed at which I'm going to jungle. And that one's probably not going to die from that. So I'm going to smack it one more time. I'm going to get over here get these wolves and that way I'll be level 3. And as you can see Olaf's sustain without the jungle item is actually pretty good. Yeah I'm half HP but once I hit 3 my clear speed actually increases by a huge ton. So now we're gonna go get our red if it's still there. If he did see that we took his and went, and went for mine it's not a problem you know we can continue jungling. Farming it up. You're gonna want to pay attention to all your other lanes. Okay it's still here awesome. And now I have smite up, so I can take this out quickly. I'm going to throw my axe over there just to give me vision. And as you can see, Jax is here. He's going to come at me. He's going to flash. No, he's not. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Fail smite for the win. And we are good. We are golden. Jax is in there. I don't care. I'm going B. I can afford to buy another item. And with that... A lot of people say pinks suck, but personally I think they're good. It's a war that never goes away. It just all depends on are you going to place it in the right place. If you are, then awesome. If you're not, then you kind of messed up. It's not the pink's fault, it's your fault. So placing a pink in a really key spot can be very ben beneficial. And just making sure you keep that pink safe. Alright, so I got three buffs. Jinx, I mean... Jax is level 2, he wasted time on a gank, and that's going to put me way ahead in levels. So now that if I ever see him again in the jungler, I'm going to be able to duel him. I'm probably going to want to make a round onto uh, mid, just because of the fact that she has pushed a little bit further. And the only time you're going to want to gank nowadays, good job bot, is if they are overextended. That's the only time I'd recommend pushing, or ganking. Just because nowadays it's all about really just farm. She took a tower hit. Gonna hit her with that axe. Ooh. Okay. We lost her, but we took her out at the same time. Assist gold. So it's okay. I'm gonna push this so she denies her some creeps. You always want to use your smite when it's up. And I'm not gonna stop. She just spawned. <clears throat> She'll be here soon. No one's going to be able to stop me while I'm pushing these creeps to tower. And I want her to lose even more, even though she might be back in time. 
to get these. Nah, she'll lose a couple. Alright, so we got all those. Because there's a Katarina, I'm going to be able to get all of the blues, which is going to be pretty awesome. Throwing a pink right here. Right, he's really behind. There's nothing he can do. If he comes at me, I'm going to fight him. Katarina's coming. I'm going to take that and I'm going to say, hey, I hate you. Only thing is, I did lose my pink because he came back around. I didn't think he'd have the balls to come back at me, but whatever. Either way, I used that ward to kind of get vision and see what he was doing. Um, I took his jungler. I left him with very little. There is a ward there. So that means I'm going to use my Oracle's Lens once it comes back up. Let's take that out. In roughly about a minute, his red will be back up. So we're going to want to make sure... Oh, it's Fiora Restore. That's funny. We're going to want to make sure that we pay attention to when that's about to spawn. Dude. Dude, dude. Always use that smite as soon as it comes up. Don't want it to be on cooldown. You want to increase your efficiency. So as you can see, I'm level 6 and Fiora's level 6. I'm in sync with my top and mid lane as far as experience goes. And that's really a pretty rare thing back in Season 3. Usually you wanted to stay around the level of your bot lane. But now with this new kind of jungling, it's all about farming. It's all about getting all these creeps. And only ganking when you know for a fact you're going to get a kill out of it. And that means they are extremely overextended and usually in a higher level game there won't be so in this lower elo you know ganking can be possible uh she's too much hp i'm gonna want to get over there to get that experience though if i can jack's gonna be over there pushing that tower doing some damage but as you can see he's level four to my six it's all about hey they're three ban it's all about just farming up and counter jungling when you can Gaining those levels, staying up and above in experience. That hurts. I think she's looking to snare me, but I ain't liking it. Damn. What? Alright, my blue's up. I did not get that red from Jax. He may be getting it now. Unless I see him top, I'm going to assume he's already gotten it. And I'm just going to take this blue quickly. Because I think the blue for me is going to be a little bit more beneficial right now. Just because of the fact that I don't have mana. Smite's at 510. I don't want to get luck stolen. So I'm going to make sure I calculate that correctly. And mid's a little bit behind. I'm going to try my best to help her. But at the same time, I'm not going to risk losing CS. Unless I know for a fact that it's going to be a guaranteed kill. So as you can see, Olaf is actually a very quick jungler. He's similar to Shivana, Amumu, and um, Phoenix stands Um, uh, No wards there. And just kind of double checking bushes to kind of figure out where they ward. And putting everything on cooldown as soon as you can and know when it'll be beneficial. Then you smite that one, oh well. And I have enough to get my Tiamat, so after these golems, I'm going to go golems, red buff should spawn around that time, and then get my Tiamat. And then my farming potential is going to be extremely high with that. Come on, red, spawn. Give me a second. Oh, wait, that's right. Okay. I'll be spawning. Because I remember I took it, and I left those little ones behind. Oh, man. She hurt Right, once I get this Tiamat, my damage is going to increase by a lot. Oh, what? Hmm. I didn't calculate that correctly. I'm waiting. I'm going to wait. It's going to be worth it. I believe it's going to be worth it. I accidentally left the ones behind. That was completely on accident. Only because Jax was about to kill me. Since you lose EXP from killing them. No, I accidentally left them behind because Jax was about to kill me. So I had to... I, what I did is, uh, I don't think you saw it, but I smited it and ran. Pretty much he missed his smite, so I smited it back. Alright, with this Tiamat, I can take my red really quickly and then help out mid as best I can. She is going to grab that tower, though. Maybe not. Yeah, she will. Jax is bottom. Nothing to worry about there. I'm going to try and help her out now. I got double buffs, and... She's going to be pretty aggressive, but unless she has a ward right here, she's not going to see me. Get 
Ooh, got her. Got her again. Triple kill. Triple nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then I'm going to take these because I am the king of this jungle. And Jax is not. This is my jungle. <laughs> so I knew she would have definitely died. I mean, there was a chance for her to live. She didn't. I didn't waste any time. Um, I got a kill, and I'm going to go straight back to farming unless I see an opportunity. That is easily taken. That's going to set Jax even further behind. Because I know Jax was bottom recently, so as long as she gets it in a quick manner, he won't be there to even see it be gone. In around a minute to 30 minute and a minute and 30... His red should be spawning, so I'm going to want to make sure to pay attention to that and be ready just in case it is. I see Jack's bottom. I am near, so that means I can come. going to get in the bush because he's getting... Okay, so we're in that bush. She's going to take it out and we get in there. Oh, what? I think I can take out now. He's gonna jump. Nice, got her. So we can push this down. If she would have hit me, actually, I would have killed her. So we get a tower. If she comes in on this, they're definitely dead. I can burst them down. Alright, here we go. Oh, she's not coming in. Ooh, can we get the knock up? Bye bye. Alright, it's around 1230. I'm going to double check and see if his red's there. If it is, we get it. If it's not, oh well. He's not going to be able to contest it. Okay, it's not there. So we're going to go ahead and take Dragon. Leona's dead and Jax is too low to come back. And in this game, Dragon is still really important, but it's actually even more important the later the game gets. The more and more gold, it'll keep on increasing in its worth. So once you get Dragon, constantly know when its timer is going to be up. So as you can see, I do have timestamps up. So 13.04 means it's going to be up at 19.04. Hey kind of and then we're going to keep on farming. Once I get my Tiamat, I pretty much don't need any mana. You're a dick. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't really care. <laughs> it's better for the AD carry. I still get the experience, I think, for being closer up. And once I get this blue, my mana's going to go back up. And then I'm going to be able to sustain all the way back to full HP. There we go. I did one for the team. It finished his Triforce. Took one for the team. Missed down that, that precious gold. Um, the next time I'm going to want to be is when I can afford this, so that's right now. And this is where the jungle items become really key. They actually increase, they're kind of like GP5s, as long as you're killing. Depending on, each one's different, you know, I mean, I'm not going to get into specifics. But as long as you are killing creeps, or getting kills for some of them, you know you're going to get some more. I know, Depet, you're late, you missed a great intro. I was saying how the new OP-ness in jungle, or not OP, but the... The more viable junglers are all junglers who have really good farm ability. So as you can see, I have 78 CS and I'm on par with my team and the enemy team. And that being said, I've pretty much been able to outscale Jackson up to where now I can even set him behind by a lot. Fiora's here. I can duel her because I am of equivalent level. Why didn't I even... Ah, I don't really care now. Ooh, four man bot. Oh, but if she lives, no. Nope. Yeah, let's just take down these towers. Ooh, I'm coming though. Take out the tower. And we can keep on going on. And she kind of overstayed her welcome, so I made her p pay for it. <clears throat> what up? I, 
can't move. That was laggy. I don't know why. I just killed myself. <laughs> Your mom! Damn it, I really wanted that blue. Oh well, I'm dead. And that was my own fault. Um, I'm gonna want to turn my Tiamat into a Hydra because it's getting that, like I said, that uh, lifesteal is really key on Olaf. I'm gonna get my tier 2 boots because I'm gonna want to run fast with Olaf. And one of my last items I get, I'm not sure, we should actually get the late game just because it's 9 9, is um, Blade of the Rune King. It's the last item though. You don't want to get Tiamat Blade of the Rune King because of the fact that you're gonna be too squishy. <laughs> you and AD Raka. It's never gonna happen. <clears throat> I'm gonna wanna get my red, it's available. But just remember that your buffs aren't as important as objectives. Unless you know they're getting stolen, they're gonna be there. I mean no one's gonna gonna take them. I don't know if if you're not in the bush, do you actually still get vision of the ward? I wanna kill her, but I don't have ghost. Oh, what? That one died? I'm not sure, actually. <clears throat> do, 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 do. I'm gonna keep on farming it up. Trying to see with the golem, which is mo what most people build nowadays. I can't, you can't see me pointing. But the little old smite icon is down there by my buffs. And pretty much, that's gonna give you that much gold for every big minion you kill. So just make sure you don't, it stops at 80, so make sure you never let it stop. That's the key of being efficient and effective. Alright, I'm gonna have to go over here, because I see they're getting their butts raped. As long as Ezreal stays in a safe spot. Alright, she's gonna run that way. I think my team's gonna be able to take her out. Oh, damn. Okay, we can, what's Dragon Timer? We can just push this lane, that's all we can really do right now. Top's getting pushed hard too. I mean, there's not. I can't make it there in time to stop it. So I'm just gonna push this as hard as I can. At this point, I can duel any champion. In fact, I can take two of them with that low of HP. And I'm gonna keep on pushing, cause. She decided to run at me with no HP. This is where I said not today. Alright, now Jax is here. I can fight him, but I can't fight her. That was a really bad... Let's see. Let's see. I'm dead anyway. Hey! I got one with me anyway. Whatever. That works. I distracted four of them, and now my team is all pushing down the different lanes. And that's going to give us a pretty good, a nice push advantage, I would say. Blue buffs back up. I'm going to finish off my Hydra. And then I'm going to get a Sunfire Cape next. Going with HP first. Always HP first on Olaf because of his ult passive. I already get a bonus 20 armor, 20 magic resist, so I'm already tanky. And I get a little bit slightly more diminishing returns than I would on HP, which you get no diminishing turns on HP. And just remember, when you press R, you become slightly less tanky, so don't forget that. Nice job. Um, I'm not going to really get there in time. What can I do right now besides push bottom? I guess that's it. So my team might be all dead. I don't want them to take anything. Actually, they're gonna probably Baron. And I'm gonna go over there. I don't want to risk losing Baron right now because that can be very, a very bad, bad thing. So I'm gonna get over there quickly. Okay, they're not coming to Baron. If that's the case, I'm going to try and solo Dragon while they're busy pushing back that. You know, with this new lens, it's really easy to kind of sneak stuff, even though I think they're coming. Can I take it before they get here? I have Ghost and Escape, so I'm not too scared about that. I just know if I can take it before they get here. And then I'm out. 
Cool, so we lost a lot of deaths right there, but we did get the Baron for that, so that's good. Alright, got my thing back to zero. I'm gonna push back out bottom. Jax is there. Jax is very far behind in comparison to me. I don't want her to be chasing. But they are probably coming down, so I'm going to want to back out. So as long as they chase towards us, they should be able to push down another lane. And honestly, me and Fiora can 3v2 them, but not 4v2 them. Sorry, Fiora. If I see them... Yeah, just keep going. I want to be careful. If we can get in there, we can take them out as long as Lux doesn't come in through the back. I need to hit stuff so I can life steal, but they're running faster than me. <clears throat> I think she's a stronger Fiora. Actually, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> well, that didn't go good. Alright, I'm going to get my Sunfire and hope I can respawn in time to protect our base. But as you can see, in comparison to everyone else, I don't think we need to surrender, but I am actually way ahead of everybody. With 151 CS, I have the most CS in the game and the most kills. From farming, really. And I know it does put a toll on your laners because, you know, you're not getting ganks. But you need to let them know, hey, I'm not going to gank, I'm focusing on farming because that's what's really strong right now in the jungle. And by doing that, you know, as long as they know this and they play safely, she just got executed. We can just definitely Baron. Okay, but by, by knowing that and they play safe, everyone on your team is just going to get out CS, or you're going to get them really high in CS and just out farm everything. Hey, dude. I'm kind of a big deal. And we can see Olaf sustain, being able to almost solo ba uh, Baron. I've soloed it already once, so I know it's possible. Jax won't get here in time, so as long as I land my smite, I don't have anything to do about. That's a big if, because I usually miss. Ah, oh, frick. Whatever, I distracted them. They took out Vayne. Uh, 4v2, 4v3, they should be fighting even with low HPs, but... Now it's 3v3. Alright, so we got the Baron at least. We got the gold income. That can make me buy my Randuins next. I'm gonna want to get some MR. And I completely forgot. Get your Spirit Visage before you get your Sunfire. I got the wrong item, not thinking about it. But it's not a big deal. Um, because you want the MR and because you want that extra healing with that spirit visage you pretty much never I don't want to say never but as long as you're auto attacking something they can't kill you so getting kited is kind of Olaf's weakness and you can't get kited when he has ult up so it's only when his ult's on cooldown that you really die I'll handle the jacks in fact, I'll just go kill him if he stays. And with that being said, I'm going to keep on going. I don't think I can do it, no. <clears throat> now without my W being up. 
I thought they would have been top, but I guess not. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well. Um, what did I just sell? Shoot. I sold something that was worth way too much. Okay, there we go. Then I wanted to sell this to get this. <clears throat> sorry, not sorry. And once the late game gets up, you know, farming is still very important. You don't want to forget to farm. Oh, well, she got her at least. But you don't want to forget to farm because you still, like, as you can see, I still have that 80. I don't want to ever have 80. I want to at least kill one big creep so I don't have that 80. Uh, I want to go down to Janna. We need to get grouped up as a team. The only thing is, my level 16 isn't enough to outtake a vein. The vein is the thing that's really hurting. There's Fiora back there. There's her. She's getting attacked. Once my axe comes back out, I'm going for her. Both flashes down. All right. Yeah. Why? I can't. Hold on. All right, so dragon's up, and I was like, like I said, late game dragon is very important. We're gonna want to get in there. We're gonna want to take out the vein. There we go. I'm gonna ignore that ult, and then we're gonna want to go for the inhibitor. We're also gonna want to save that at the same time. We got our fiora going back, and then we're gonna want someone else to be helping me push down this inhibitor right now. Yeah, mom. League is more important. It's TJTV, mom. Alright, so everyone's dead except for Friora. That's a free inhibitor. So, you know, I guess I can take this by myself. You can quote me on that one. I'm not going to be able to get the inhibitor because I am by myself, but... At least I'll get this tower. Baron is going to be up pretty soon. So we're going to want to keep that in mind. If she follows, I'm not going to be able to kill her unless she comes in by herself. I'm going to want to upgrade my lens, that way I can kind of get more vision and take out their awards with an oracles. And it's going to help me kill Vayne actually, which I completely forgot to be doing. I need to get that back so I can kill Vayne. <clears throat> so I'm going to pick up my spirit visage, upgrade my lens, and my next item is actually going to be my Blade of the Rune King, because once I get that even more lifesteal, gonna, you're going to see how hard it is to really kill Olaf, especially with this late game build. And I'm level 17, and they're only level 15 at the highest. Compared to, like, literally, I am the highest level in the game. And I'm a jungler. Usually, that's not how junglers used to be. She dead? She's dead. Alright, we need to go Fiora for Fiora. As long as we go as a team, we can take them back out. My Oracle Lens isn't up, so I'm not going to have Vision of the Vein. But... Hmm, I don't have my team with me. Either way, I distract them off, so it's okay. There we go. That's a good one. Try and get that inhibitor now. That's up. <clears throat> and I'm going to be able to lifesteal back to full HP off this as long as I can get in there and attack some things. Not full, but enough. Doodle doo, keep going, Olaf. 
We have pretty much 20 seconds to take out this inhibitor. She can't stop me. They're gonna attack me. I don't know why. So we took them out, and they're gonna spawn back up. We're gonna wanna get this out quickly. We got about one second. Everyone, get out of here. Oh! <laughs> Baron is up, so we gotta be careful. Um, they're still missing too, so I'm gonna go actually take it. Olaf can solo it, but I'm gonna use my teammates to take this out. Let's see if there's any wards really quick. I don't know why I smited. Honestly, don't know why. I hope nobody comes now. I need my W to heal up. Ooh, come get some. Who needs a smite? Got it. Always attack the tank. Um, if honestly attacking the tank is actually usually the best option. You know, you a lot of people don't really think about it, but if you're an AD carry and you have no other choice, you should be attacking the tank and not going straight and diving in. Um, usually let's get the movement speed. Alright, so now I'm going to be able to stick onto Vayne a little bit better with my bilge water and with the lifesteal. Uh, as long as I'm attacking something, it's going to be hard to kill me. I have my ult, but I don't have ghost. So I took out Vayne really easily. Not even a challenge, and that's gonna be the GG. They didn't have their Lux, actually. I don't see Lux. Maybe she just got away. No, she just wasn't there. Uh, that should be the good game, as long as we can get over there. Have my Oracle's Lens. Vayne didn't even get to ulti, so I have vision over the whole time. With 215 CS, I have the second most. Ezreal did catch up, so that's good. He's our AD carry. He hit level 18, and me and him are the only people who are level 18. And not to mention, I am jungling. And, you know, junglers aren't supposed to be the ones who hit level 18 first. But because of the new way that junglers just farm it up and get extra EXP, it really does become beneficial. They spawn. Ready for this? Oh, I need to attack stuff. Nice. Vayne somehow still live, but it's okay. <clears throat> and that is how you jungle now in season four. Good game, and thank you guys for watching TJTV. I hope to see you next time. I still haven't got too much into the 1v1 tournament that I want to host, but I will say that they are releasing a 1v1 mode on uh, Howling Abyss, so that will actually help me out. So once that comes out, we will definitely have a 1v1 tournament, and we'll make it a huge thing, and it's going to be awesome. This one is going on YouTube. So <clears throat> have a good day, and see you guys next time on TJTV.